they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frowns. You can't hop out, then we clearing the they gon' empty, it get risky Bullets hit him, he drop like he tipsy Two track in the back of the rainy 30 and better so we What's going on, y'all? It's Lauren K. We here at Tokyo Town And who's in the town today? It's your boy, be love man Okay, period So, New Year's just passed Happy New Year's Woo, happy New Year's <laughs> Are you a New Year, New Me type of guy? You do New Year's resolutions? Nah, I just be on some New Year, New Me, man I'm on some It's really the wake up type of year Every time it's a New Year, you just wake up I ain't Revolution, nah. Okay, so what's new in 2023 for, for B Love? I'm on my bullshit, I ain't gonna lie. Mm. I said, I'm just on my bullshit. Oh, 2023. We love to hear it. Yeah, so, sure. we're gonna start off with a game of rapid fire questions. Some of them is gonna be like easy, but some of them you might have to really think about, okay? But just give us the, the quickest answer that comes to mind, okay? I got you. So, the first one if you had to listen to one artist for the rest of your life, who would you pick? Chief Keith. Hmm, okay. What's one word that you couldn't spell as a child? Hippopotamus. I don't know how to say it, though. <laughs> well, how you say it? Hippopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you could have any accent in the world, what accent would you pick? It's a UK accent. <laughs> nah, be low From with a UK. UK accent is mad funny. Uh, that shit fire. I ain't gonna lie. One song you hate that everybody loves. What song I hate? Uh, what's that? With my, damn, it's a song with my son, Baby 50, DC artist. It's a song that I like, I, it's called Damn Facts. Niggas hate that song, but that's my shit right there. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, I wish I could like conspire with you, but I have no idea what that is. Nah, yeah, that's that fire right there. Okay, okay. you just put me on. I'm gonna listen after the interview. So what's one song that everybody hates that you love? Oh, that's what I yeah, just asked you. Yeah, yeah. What's one song that you love that everybody hates? No, stop. What the fuck? <laughs> What's the one song that you hate that yeah. everybody loves? That was it? All right. That everybody love. <laughs> um, what song I hate niggas be listening to? Nah, you gotta ask a little monster. Monster be playing some bullshit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta ask, I ain't gonna lie. You gotta ask her. He be called crazy. Okay, so what's your go-to, like, if you want to sing R&B, you want to sing your heart out, what's your go-to R&B song? Uh, I'm just search searching up some Keisha Cole, Mary J. Oh, I know that's right. What song? What I threw on earlier, that's crazy. I threw that Keisha, Love by Keisha Cole. <laughs> you be singing uh, that? Yeah, that's my <laughs> shit right there. I ain't gonna lie. Um, How many zeros would have to be on the check for you to sing that, like, in public? None, Your whole nigga, heart? None, nigga, I'm on that. Oh, Let's get the exclusive after the interview. We're going to get him singing Keisha Cole. Nah, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> I was about to say, damn, you going to give us 15 <laughs> seconds? <laughs> okay, what's one song or artist that people would be surprised that you bump? You said what, artist? Song or artist, either one. That people surprised that's in your playlist. Um, yeah, they'd probably be surprised they see Mary J. Blige or somebody in my... I don't think that people are surprised that you're listening to Mary J. Blige. Who, me? My everything. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think, though. Like, you be in your pop bag. I don't listen to Rockstar. Oh, damn. Rocks. No, wait, that's not pop. It's pop is not Rockstar. It's not, but that's where you was going. Nah, you I'm said UK. Either. You don't be listening to, like, the UK pop? Mm. Nah. Oh, oh damn. Oh, <laughs> you be listening to Nikki? Who? Nikki. Oh, Nicki Minaj. Nah, I'm not on that. She be talking nasty. Like, I'm not. I can't. I'm not singing that. She got tough shit too. Like she has bars. What? She got bars too. She what? got tough shit. Nah, and she got shit, but she be talking that freaky shit. I'm not on that. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing that. I like, gonna. <laughs> So, no city girls, no... Nah, never. Damn, yeah, okay, that's not, not your bop. Got nah. it, got it, got it. Okay, so if you could pick any talent in the world to be a pro at that's not music, what talent would it be? Acting or basketball. Okay. What type yeah. of acting you would want to do? Like, what type of role would you want? 
um, um, funny role, like a Mike Epps type of nigga, like oh shit, <laughs> one of those, or yo, or what's this Denzel Washington, one of those. That's his name, Denzel. Denzel Washington is mad serious. Yeah, yeah, one of those. Gangs, either or. Oh shit, type. okay. Type. If you had to be stranded on an island with one person and one object, so you got to pick one person, one object. Who you picking and what you picking? One person and one object. Right. On an island, Dolo. And <laughs> shit. Your my, phone is an object. Oh, well, my phone is an object? Nah, nah. But that's tough because you only get that. one and you don't get nah, the charger. my girl and a Knox. Wait, that's it. Okay. That's all I need. <laughs> but like, it's just y'all on the island. Huh? <laughs> it's just y'all oh, on the no island. Oh, no funny animals, none of that. Oh. Mm. So you're going to kill the animals? They're going to try to kill me. Yeah, you're right. Nah, you're right. You're right. I get that one. <laughs> okay, so ball. death row, what's your last meal? Some seafood. Okay. Seafood rice and shit. Got to go crazy on that. Like Damn. a seafood boil? Damn, that's fucked up. That boy yeah, fights and eat some, some seafood and shit. Okay, what's in your seafood boil? Nah, I'm not a boy you, boy you. I'm a <laughs> seafood up, bro. <laughs> and I would just get, like, you probably, I would get different shit, like fried fish, shrimp. Okay. Crab legs. But not the whole. Rice. You're not going to get the whole. Nah, I don't That's too messy for me sometimes. I'd rather just eat. Nah, I do be like that. I be needing gloves. Yeah. Especially if my nails is done, I need gloves. Nah, yeah, yeah. And the last one, what's your favorite ad lib? My favorite ad lib? Uh-huh. What you said? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite. The uh-huh is my favorite. one of my faves. I ain't gonna lie. Then you know the Bronx favorite, Gra. You know how that goes. Can you spell that? What? Gra. Gra, yeah. Like, is it a G-L or a G-R? It's a G-L. Okay. G-L. That's interesting. My favorite B-Love ad-lib is... When you on Brotherly Love and you like, don't give me a pound. <laughs> 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 so walk us through your recording process. How do you pick beats? How do you decide, like, what's the what's the tempo in the room? What's the vibe in the room? All of that. Just how I'm feeling right now. Like, see, for me, it's how I'm feeling. It's how I'm feeling up, I'm up, I'm feeling, for me, down, down. And I'm just going from there. It's all about how I feel. Boom. Okay. Play certain beats, cause a beat might be fire, but if I'm not in that active, for me, I'm not gonna do it. So it's like, gotta be how I'm feeling. Then it's the beat. Then get there, get the vibe, and get the brainstorming. Okay, are you a writer or a freestyler? I just be, I be punching in. I be trying to write and shit, but I be thinking too fast. I ain't gonna lie, I can't type that fast, so I be forgetting and shit. So it be mm-hmm. fucking me up. I just be on some trying to punch in. So has being signed impact your creative pro- impacted your creative process at all? Like, do you feel like do you ever go in the studio with the pressure of like, oh, the label wants this type of song, so I have to make this type of song, or you just do whatever B Love wants to do? Nah, it's not really. It's, nah, I don't, I don't do that. I just go on what type of song I need for my career. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying. For me, when I go in the studio. I'm just thinking. I'm just. For me, just not really forcing it, but you for me to like trying to come about about what I need for my from trying different shit, mm-hmm. different sounds and shit. So, what's one sound that you haven't done yet that you would really like to try? Because I know you've done like the sample drill. I'm doing drill, rock the drill. Shit. I'm doing rock drill. Rock star love. I remember I sampled that. Oh, I, I mean, I put, I put a snap piece out of that. I'm gonna be on some real rock star shit. I'm gonna keep it a stack. Okay, I like that you're expanding. I feel yeah. like. <laughs> You're definitely, yeah. Like, I think that you give, like, artists, you know? Yeah. Like, I feel like from, even, like, you're not trying to make the same type of music that you was making when you drop. Like, I feel like you're expanding as an artist, whether that be, like, the type of music you're making, how you're performing, like, even the way you are in interviews. Yeah. Like, you're, you're expanding. We love that. I'm just trying to get better, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, what steps are taken behind the scenes to accomplish that? Like, is it a you thing, or do you have people behind you, like, nah, like, <clears throat> you need to perform better, or like, no, I feel like you can make better music, like that type shit? Um, 
it just like it go with both is just about the experience because say if I like for me I could make good songs bad songs without like nobody telling me I could make good shows have good shows bad shows for me but it's just about like everybody just be wanna just like uh, like I don't know how to say it but you know you just everybody just give their opinion on things you for me so it's be like okay. For me, you the show, like, oh, bro, I'll tell you, like, yo, bro, I think you should do this. Ah, ah. So, mm-hmm. like, hype, right, I'm okay, I'm try it out. Like, right. ah, everybody just open mind, yo, you performing, just try to do this, try to do this, start doing this, start doing this. For me, so it just be about experience. The more we experience things, and for me, more shows and more studio sessions, everybody just be trying to get more different, do more different things. That's a fact. Sure. Especially the people that you're in the studio with now, I feel like yeah. those are probably people that you're you're learning from. So, who are some of your influences musically? Musically, it's like Chris Brown. Really? Yeah. Like okay. My son, Keith, Herb, and um, from me, Dirk, Baby, all them niggas. I used to listen to mad type of music. Like I was, I was young. Mm-hmm. So. I've been a fan of music, so I've just been listening to all of them. They all just tapped in. I know you said your family is Jamaican, right? Hi. Um, I, my family, like, bro, people don't understand. You was born in America, but they Jamaican? No. No. Like, for me, bro, yeah, like, I can want to say, you, gonna, you come to my crib, you're not going to see none, none of that. Like, my, for me, but my grandmother and them, mm-hmm. you just, like, happen to be West Indian, not Jamaican. Okay. But yeah, nobody like for me. We consider ourselves African Americans. That right. For me, it's just in your bloodline type shit. Yeah. Okay. So were you listening to Caribbean music growing up at all, or no? Nah. Well, yeah, because we used to go to parties. Hell mm. yeah, the parties used to be jumping back in the days. What was cool. the Bronx parties like? Bronx parties. What was the Bronx party like? So it was active. It was treacherous. It was big parties. I ain't gonna lie. It used to be Bobby. Double tapping days. You was in a Bronx one? Yeah, I used to Bronx one. I ain't gonna lie. I'm keeping it stuck. Yeah. Hell I mean, yeah. You should do that on TikTok. Hell no. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's I can't bring back right there. So who do you look up to as far as like performing goes? If anybody at all. Yeah, not really nobody at all. Okay. So, do you get nervous to perform? It's a feeling, bro. Well, you ain't going to lie. I be nervous. Some shows, I just be feeling it. Some shows, I just be mm-hmm. nervous sometimes when it feel like it's too much people. It's, just, it's mm. like a feeling. I ain't going to lie. It's just too much people, bro. You just never know. Like, get that gut feeling. You go out there, and then it just happen. It'll go away eventually, but I still get nervous in shows. I ain't going to lie. Do you get nervous every show or just like nah, you said, nah, the nah. big ones? Yeah, the big ones and facts. So how were you feeling when Meek Mill called you and said, like, yo, y'all pop out. I want y'all to come perform. It was active, too. I was bugging because we was in Albany. It was a lit week. Wake up to the good email. Then Magic Square gone. I was really panicking. I ain't going to lie. I was OD panicking. I went to UA, so I was at the the one in Albany, and I was drunk as hell, but oh, I was yeah, you lit. Was at the show in I was lit. I ain't gonna lie, lit. Albany was active. <laughs> I ain't been back. I ain't been back to Albany since, though. I can't wait. Now Albany. you should definitely go up there for another homecoming or something. Nah, yeah, for sure. So who's somebody else that you would, if you had to build your perfect tour, three artists, let's say, yeah. mainstream or coming up, it don't matter. What three artists are you picking? For my tour. Mm-hmm. All right, boom. Three artists. Drake. Okay. Oh, you selling out. Offer it. Who I fuck with like that? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, okay, Drake, Um, you mentioned Chief Keef, you mentioned Herbo. Yeah. Future. Yeah. And yeah. you got to put a girl. Yeah, Drake, Keith. It's Cardi. That's lit. Yeah. You, Cardi, Drake, and Chief Keith. Nah, niggas is getting their money worth. That's lit. 
flipping so, that shit. So, if you know, you know. Everybody knows. Yeah. Literally. What made you title it, if you know, you know? The vibes. It was just on some for me, the way it came. Just if you know, you know. That's how I'm bumming on that. It says, for me... It's, but I was just, for me, this what the song was about was just on some, if you know, you know. Like, certain shit, if you know, you know. You know, you know. So basically, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. So when you made it, did you know, like, nah, this is the one. Like, this one is going to be out of here. I ain't going to lie, I knew it. Because I ain't going to lie, the beat, just was a, like, from what we was doing at the time, mm -hmm. the beat was a whole different. Because when he sent it to me, I'm like, nah, what? This is crazy right here mm -hmm. i'm out like send me this send me this i was feeling to do that that beat was too fire okay and then once i was like the words was on it i'm like damn this is tough right here like, i i ain't know what it would do but i know it was a good ass song like one of them ones like for right. sure for sure so do you when you're making music is it like a thing where like you'll make it and then go back and be like nah, i don't like the hook no more or like do you record it that one time and you just be done some songs I, I went back and touched up. Some songs I not just left it like ah. Uh, okay, and if you know, you know yeah, was. It depends. it depends if I'm like I right, bet this song we could drop this song right here, but we just need to fix this, and I gotta fix up a part real quick, and then okay. for me it'd be a song like that. But if if not, it's just on some. It is what it is. I want to try to facts. Okay, so if you know, you know. Did you go back and touch that one up, or that was like a? No, nah, that was just a one time Package it done. Yeah, that, that happened that session. That's crazy. That shit was tough. So, what about with my everything? Um, same thing. Facts. So I know you didn't even want to put that one out at first. Yeah. And it got leaked. So how do you feel about like leaked music now? Because I know most artists are like, don't leak my shit. Nah, that's but that one like fake blessed you. I, that's what I try to say, but they don't want to tell me who leaked it. I'm oh saying. damn. <laughs> but. It's, it's, it depends, bro. It's good. Sometimes leaking music is good. Sometimes it's not for me. Has that situation made you more protective over your music? Or yeah. you just feel like whatever going to happen, going to happen? Nah, yeah. Facts. I ain't been sending my life. I ain't really get leaks since, for me, since around that. Everyone, we was all coming up sending each other music and shit. Mm -hmm. Everybody sending out. Niggas was getting leaks every day. Like, too many leaks. There's a song that you previewed on your Instagram. It was a while ago. And honestly, I don't remember how the song go, but I do know that you yelled dumbass at the end. And that was just the greatest shit in the world to me. And oh, I want somebody oh, oh. to make that. You <laughs> <coughs> talking about that? You talking about that? Yeah. Is it coming? Yeah, it's going to come soon. Now that you mention it. Yes, we need that. The streets need that one. So, My Everything has three parts. Mm -hmm. Now, what makes you make parts to the song versus, like, a remix? Me, I wanted to do the remix, like, with both of them on one record. Okay. But other people on my team had different, for me, ways mm -hmm. of doing it, and they wanted to go that, try something different. Okay. So you just went that route. But if it was up to you, it would have been a remix. Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. Because I feel like the parts is kind of like a thing in music right now. Like, I feel like I can't even tell you the last, like, remix that I've seen. You know what I'm saying? Nah, hell yeah. I I mean, I can't tell you the last part one and part two. No matter of fact, I'm bugging. Who did that? I don't know. I ain't see that in a minute, though. I ain't gonna lie. But, like, you see the Nardo Wick shit, the remix mm -hmm. and shit, like, shit like, nigga, remix and shit. Would you work with Nardo Wick? Yeah. He be going crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I could see y'all two vibes together. And I think the video would just be cool as shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like y'all just both mad cool. Yeah, I fuck with them. So what's B Love's favorite song by B Love? Right now. Right now, it's PDL. That's my favorite song by Wayne right now. Okay. And how often do you listen to your own music? Sometimes, bro. I listen to myself a lot. Sometimes I be getting tired of my own music, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie, I get tired of my own music. I'm telling niggas, I don't turn that off. It's over for that. <laughs> niggas be playing you, or you be like, nah, I'm good off that. I'm good off that. <laughs> That's off crazy. That. Nah, I can't, for me, I, can't, I just can't do that too much. It's myself too much. Do you find your voice annoying? I start not to like, that's why I, like, I ain't gonna lie, at a certain point, I was listening to my music so much, it was like, I'll, I'll make a song, then two, three days later, 
I was like, damn, I don't want to drop this no more. I got to make something new. Mm-hmm. So I, I was doing that for like a minute, and I wasn't dropping old music. I just kept doing that because all I was hearing was my music, my music, and I was mm-hmm. just not liking nothing. Okay, so. Do you find inspiration in listening to other artists' music? Nah. I do just like, it's just like on some, to see you, like, for me, how everybody create, but mm-hmm. I don't like doing that because like, I don't like listening to people's songs because it'll get stuck in my head. like. And then for me, while I'm trying to rap, I just keep thinking of that. I'm like, nah, what's up? Nah, I be like that sometimes. Yeah, so. When you be trying to think of one song, but all you hear is another, not yeah. fast. So you have some really, really interesting features from Corday to Sequoia yeah. Ray and then Dougie and then like Malibu Mitch. So how do you decide who you're going to collab with? Um, sometimes people reach out. Or we, it just depends on the situation, bro. I ain't going to lie. Okay. You just never know. Like, you never know. So how do you respond to like, let's say it's somebody that you really wanted to work with as a person, but you wasn't feeling the song. Yeah. Does that matter at all? Like, would you do it or? I'll do it. Hmm. Have you ever done a song that you feel like is trash? Damn. Yeah. Really? No, That's hard. <laughs> That's hard. So, were well, you? Like, I'm talking about like I could be doing even one of my songs. Like, I just feel like one of my songs is whack, and I still had to put it out and shit like that. Like, yeah, on that tip too. Like, just. That's what it is. Yeah. You never know. The crowd want to know what song of yours you think is whack? Huh? The crowd want to know what song of yours you think no. is whack? No. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> so, when you work with these people, do you be in a studio with them? Or, like, is it a send in the verse type of thing? It depends. Okay. Be in town, or I, I, we link up sometimes, be in the stool. Mm-hmm. Or if not, send it over. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you have a preference? And which one you'd rather? I'd rather in studio. Okay. Yeah. Why? Because it's like we could really match energy, see where we at right now. Because I yeah. might send you a record that you not on that. For me, I don't know. It's just better that we be direct right here. Than, the vibe. Yeah. So when you did spinning, were you and Dougie together? Yeah, me and Dougie was in the same studio. Okay, that's what I was getting from the back yeah. and forth. Because I would imagine that it would be, like, really difficult to yeah. do the back and forth if y'all wasn't Facts, in the same we was in the same studio and then okay. sent the record out. Okay. Now, how did you link up with Michael Rainey Jr.? <laughs> and how did you end up on the, the Shake It remix? That's my boy. Um, I forgot what it really was, though. Was it TikTok? Because I definitely seen you dancing on TikTok. Yeah, it, it was one that. of those. It was one of those. But it was before that. Like, before okay. that. It was something before that, though. Boom. Matter of fact, he he was sending me beats and shit. And uh, we was chopping it up, and then he was making beats. He had sent me some beats and shit. I did with some of his beats. Then he was working with the um my son, Wolfface Joey. Mm-hmm. I was jacking that. uh uh I mean, I asked him, like, yo, bro, what's up? Are you trying to you get on this? I'm like, yeah. We linked up. We all went to the studio for me. Oh, so y'all did the remix together? Oh, well, we'll pay for I mean, Joey wasn't there, but for me, we two twin the bros. Okay. We were always in the stool. Then I did that. We going to shoot the video, what, like, next week or something, shit like that. Oh, that's lit. Yeah, so... So do you plan on doing, like, a, you said he was sending you beats. Do you plan on doing a solo song with him? Or, like, if it happened, it happened. Who? You and him. Like, because right now you're in the remix. Yeah. So, like, do you plan on doing, like, just a B-Love song produced by 22? I did. I, I dropped one of those songs already. Which um, one? It's called Playground or some shit like that. Okay. Yeah, it's called Playground. I definitely, yeah. Mm, that's lit. I got some shit. I got some shit. I got some unreleased, um, like two more unreleased songs on his beats. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, facts. So when you do songs with your friends, or you do the songs like Brotherly Love or Spinning, where like it's multiple verses and yeah. multiple people, do you strive to have the best verse? Like, is it like a competitive thing for you? 
We most like just feed off each other energy, like. Okay. Just trying to get the hype. We just trying to all get the best song. So we're trying to put it together right. Trying to really all really give our all. Niggas be in there going crazy. So yeah, it'd be more like a friendly competitive thing on some like, yo, I bet. I know if I go crazy, he gonna really go crazy. Uh, he got no choice to go crazy. Like it'd be on some mm-hmm. shit like that. Like, so is there ever any like change in the verses? Like, nah, he just washed me. So let me go ahead and yeah, people did that before a couple times. And they're gonna change verses up. I love to hear that because I feel like that's very much um, old hip hop, especially like old New York hip hop. Nah, I feel like that's how they go like. Certain people have their days. You're not good every day, bro. We know you're right. a good rapper, but you're not good every day. For right. me, I'm not good every day. So if me and bro good today and you not, just go fix that when you good. Like, yeah. You know, you're just trying to eat for, yeah, for sure. So how do you feel about, one thing I see a lot is like people saying, oh, they want old be loved back as far yeah. as your music goes. Like, how do you feel about that? I don't know what they talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they talking about. Do you pay attention to comments at all? Like negative comments like that? Not negative comments. I definitely, negative comments, I do not feed into. You know why? Because those be fake pages, you know, fake pages. Just, you a hater, bro. No profile picture. Yeah. Right. Just being on some hate and shit. Because I ain't gonna lie, you know what I never did in life? Seen something I didn't like and left a comment under. <laughs> I, <laughs> I never did that in life. Like I will never do that. I will never. I will never do that. Nah, ne- that's facts. It's out. So I don't. Know. They just be trolling. To get into Twitch. Twitch. Um. Uh, I'll be watching them. For mm-hmm. me, my brother was fake telling me to bang it on. For me, I had to grow on it, but I was watching them, like, Kai and them, Speed, and niggas be having me dying. Like, you know, it's just like, I'm into the game, for me. Mm-hmm. Play the game, why not? Just, for me, just get lit while you playing the game. Not respectfully. Yeah, for me, you could still do get right by playing the game. Because niggas, niggas getting rich off Twitch. Nah, that's sure. a fact. So you better, for me. I'll be Why watching not? academics. He <laughs> said that Twitch bag is heavy. Why not get you one, man? Do you have any intentions on, like, collabing with anybody on Twitch? Is that something that you would yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, When I get into it more, yeah, most definitely. I'm definitely trying to t- turn up on Twitch all the way. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel about Twitch versus YouTube? Because I know you did a couple of the prank videos, too. Mm-hmm. So, like, how do you feel about them in comparison with each other? Wait, you said I did prank videos? You were in, like, some of them. What prank videos? You was in one with the car. Who? Honestly. Oh, you talking about Booba and them? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, I fuck with those. It's funny content. Yeah, yeah, it's funny content. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, like, yo, No, what? he, yo, I'm not going to lie. He just tripped me up because I'm like, nah, am I seeing things? <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, I fuck with it, bro. It's cool content. Niggas be having me crying. Okay. Niggas a fool. It'd be all jokes. Yeah, all jokes. So, do you have a preference between, like, Twitch and YouTube? I like Twitch. Okay. YouTube is fun, but I like Twitch. Do you like Twitch or do you just like playing the game? I like Twitch, though. I okay. like Twitch because, you know, why you really, like, it's better than YouTube because you sitting there, you really conversating with people. It would be some funny people in there. I ain't going to lie. Okay. So, it would be conversations, it'd be funny, funny moments be happening, like, it would be funny, like. Okay, so I did notice that at one point, like I mentioned, the TikTok, you was on TikTok dancing, now you on yeah. Twitch, the video on the car. So, was it like a conscious decision of yours, like, okay, I'm going to start being more active on social media, or was that like a team thing? Like, how did that happen? Yeah, I'm going to my head, bro. You got to do this, man. <laughs> you got to do <laughs> You wasn't jacking everybody, it? Everybody in my head, nah, but I was, for me, I be chilling, everybody, you got to do this, that. I was fucking, I was out of fucking with the TikTok one more. I was about to say, you look like you be having fun on there when you be doing I be seeing you dance more on TikTok in, than anywhere else. Nah, yeah. TikTok be having me crying because my sister know me and shit. But yeah, bro. People be telling me to be more active on social media and shit. So I just be on there. Just finding mad different platforms to get active on and for me be seen. Do you be on TikTok like outside of posting on it? Like do you be on your for you page? Hmm? You be on your Yeah, I be page? watching TikTok all day though. That's another thing. 
Okay, so what are, let's say three. What's the three things that comes up on your For You page the most? People chewing mad loud. The ASMR shit? Yeah. <laughs> you be watching that? No. <laughs> I hate that shit. I hate people that chew loud and shit. <laughs> okay, and that's one. People chewing loud. What else be on your For You page? People hip shaking. Getting <laughs> Philly live. <laughs> <laughs> All day, just be people doing. I'd be, be saying mad funny shit on TikTok. I don't seen everything on TikTok by now. No cap, I just be scrolling. So everything. hours, yeah. endlessly. Not nah, 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 nah. Not for hours. You don't stay on TikTok for hours. Nah. Well, you know, you probably have a way busier life than I do. I. I Twenty good, fifteen minutes probably good giggles, and if I just start getting corny sometimes though, there's a nigga to be coking up there. I get off. Okay, so we stay here with B Love, so we're gonna play another game. This game is called Hate It or Love It. Okay, so you're gonna tell me if you hate or love these things and why. Okay. Right. First one, social media. Hate it. Hate it. Why? Cause bro, it's social media man. It's it's the cause of a lot of things out here, man. Not as like were, and a lot of people trying to be tough and shit for social media. Social media is just a big acting platform. Man. I hate it a lot. <laughs> hate it a lot is mad funny. Okay, being labeled a drill artist. Hmm? Being labeled a drill artist. Hate it or love it? Uh, I hate it, but I, it's like whatever for me. Okay. Well, so do you prefer just like artists? Yeah. Respectfully. Next one, traveling slash long flights. I hate it. I hate long flights. Okay. Mad people being in the studio while you record. I love it. <laughs> you like the energy? Yeah, yeah. We fucking with it. Okay. Bobby. Chocolate. I hate dark chocolate, though. But milk chocolate, I like I like it. <laughs> Uh, I don't like dark chocolate. It's the preference for me. Okay, waking up early. I hate that. I more of a night owl? Nah, nah. Yeah, I'm more of a definitely of a night owl, though. For okay. sure. Being pe- compared to, like, older artists. Like, you know, people be like, oh, like, this is the new such and such. I mean, I love it. Cause okay. Maybe, yeah, it's like, for me, they paid away. For me, they the ones who started there. For me. That's a good perspective. Performing in front of big crowds. Nah, I love it. YouTube uh, beats. YouTube beats. It's, believe it or not, bro, beats that, nah, beats that, that people send you be on YouTube. Okay. I, I, I love it. I just, I'm a little surprised by that just because I know sometimes, like, you could have a beat and then 15 other people have the beat and, like, you know? Yeah, but all beats is fake YouTube beats because niggas gonna send me a pack and then niggas doing it because yeah. it's on YouTube already. So I was like, all YouTube beats. I, I just had to figure it out. Producers got YouTube pages. They post all their beats there. Facts. That's true. Okay, Snow. Hmm? Snow. I love the snow. I just hate it. When it's coming to driving and traveling around, but I fuck with the snow. I used to love the snow as a kid, then it ain't snow for mad years. It ain't snow for mad long. I mean, out here. Climate change go crazy. Long nails on girls. Nah, I hate that. <laughs> hate it? Mm-hmm. Color wigs on girls. Like the crazy colors, not the, the not blondes. The good like color. the pinks, the blues, the greens. Nah, I hate that. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, some people maybe it, for me color heads, but I, I hate that though. Okay, and the last one, interviews. <laughs> <laughs> Go uh, ahead, you can be honest. <laughs> I hate them shits. Now nah, I like certain <laughs> interviews though, don't get me wrong. I don't have fun in certain interviews, but yeah. Okay, I hope you don't hate this one. Nah, I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I saw recently you had your, your baby shower slash birthday party thing going on. How mm-hmm. was that? First of all, congratulations. Let's start Thank with that. You. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Happy Appreciate belated. It. All of that. Thank you. So how was that? Yeah, it was, it was fun. 
It was fun. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. How do you feel about how do you feel Be Love the Dad is gonna be different than Be Love Now? It's about to get real, man. Yeah, I'm chilling. Uh, I'm just be more on my for me. Ain't no shit ain't a game no more, I ain't gonna lie. There's no room for play no more for me. That's the only difference. You think you're gonna be like a a strict dad? You think you're gonna be cool? You think you're gonna embarrass your child? Like nah, I'm on, I'm cool, but I ain't finna play none of that bullshit. That's <laughs> just, hey, for me, I'm cool. Do we you you okay with saying the, the gender? Oh yeah. You, you want to let the people know what the gender is? Oh, I'm having a girl. I'm having we a baby girl. We love that. He's gonna be a girl dad. Yeah. So, are you prepared for her to bring home guys like you? What? Like, how you feel about that? She wild young right now, bro. In the future. Huh? In the future. Like, would you want her to bring home a guy like you? It's too soon to be thinking about my baby girl talking (laughs) to men. Oh. I'm a a good dude, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm going to ask again in 18 years. Nah. (laughs) I ain't going to lie. I used to be on some bullshit, but now I'm I'm a good guy, bro, so... Me now, yeah. Me before, no. Okay. See, that's a that's a calm answer. That's a good answer. Yeah. Gross. We love it. So, do you feel like being a dad is going to affect the type of content that you put out at all? I just feel... Um, like, as far as, like, what you talk about in your songs or just, like, things like that? It is, bro. Nah. Nah, not really. I know some artists take the sense of, like, you know, when they're grown enough, they'll yeah. be able to, like, listen to me and mm-hmm. shit like that. But then some artists feel they like, you know. They just never have to know. I never got to play my music around her. Nah, nah, nah. Mm-hmm. For me, nah, nah, or for me, eventually I grow in music to where we ain't even making this type of music no more. Right. But I do got music she could listen to that I ain't on that. Thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got good music, too, so. So what do you feel like sets you apart from... Every other New York artist right now, predominantly the the Bronx rap scene. Just being me, man. Just not being on what niggas on, man. Especially in the real life, because for me, bro, it just be on some. I'm just on my time, and like I'm, I'm on me, bro. I ain't moving like niggas. So how do you feel? Well, okay. So first, let's start off with, I know I'm Vlad. You said like there were four main pioneers of the whole Bronx show music right now. Yeah. So who would you say those four are? It was me, EK, Flock, and D-Thing. So being one of those, do you feel, how do you feel when people try to like place the blame of violence in New York on drill music? I hold me in with the mayor because of that or like, I just feel like for me, it's not that. It been violence going on for for years. Right. before we was all alive, before people who were trying to say it's because us was alive, That's had been right. going on for me. So you can't really de- put on that. It'd be, I don't see the movie. Nigga, kid had five people who <laughs> hurt, tied them up in the basement forever. And <laughs> for me, that could have made me want to think some real crazy shit and want to, nah, bro, it ain't the music, bro. That's a fact. And they don't do it to any other type of art. So yeah. it's just like... So you mentioned the mayor's office. Talk a little bit about that. Like, how was that experience for you? It was cool, man. Everybody, for me, it was one of them ones. News, clips, for me. We was out there just to really get the point across, bro. And really see come the solution. And for me, it, isn't, it, it is what it ain't. Facts. So I feel like the whole mayor's office thing definitely goes into, like how I was saying, you're expanding and you're growing. Um, so what are some things that you've learned or the key things that you've learned since, like, you've blown up and you've gotten smarter and you've experienced life more? I learned this more to life. There's a reason that for me, I want to be alive, want to be free. For all that, all we knew was the projects. We ain't really care. And he was out here taking real risks every day because 
just because right. we don't really know what's really out there in the world that we ain't never seen before. Like, mm-hmm. I don't. For me, people that's really on that, ready to, uh, you take them one trip, and they they hope mom might change. Like, they see the world for real one time, get on a plane or something, and really see it's really different. That's what it took for me. I was like 19, 20 when I got on my first flight, really traveling and seeing mm. the world was about, and really really opened my eyes for real, for real. So I know you mentioned blowing through your first check. Have you also learned like financial um, yeah. lessons? Well, literacy, I guess. Yeah, bro, you learn. Even in the trenches, like before, like being rapper and all that, like, we was coming up bread. Right. And losing it the next morning. Like, how you do that? Like, it right. just be just you live and you learn. You just got to capitalize. That's it. Ain't no more time for games. I mean, you got to capitalize, get right, have fun, but always remember, yeah. So where do you see yourself in five years? Five years. Somewhere good, man. Good place in life. My daughter, my family and shit, the guys, everybody on a good path, doing good, situated, take care of themselves and everybody, I mean, one of them ones. We love that. So what's next for B-Love? Tell the people what they have to look forward to from you. I'm on that this year, 2023, bro. You heard new music coming soon. <laughs> Niggas be on my dick. I'm like, oh, give it a time. I'm going give it a fuck. Yeah, nigga, that ass. I'm on that. I ain't that switch mad fast. <laughs> that ass. I'm on that, man. I'm turning up this year. I'm heating up. They know my body. They know what I'm on. They know love, man. He's back. You say, oh, love? He's back, yeah. Mm. He's back, yeah, y'all. on that. Back on his bullshit. All right. So tell the people where they can find you. Be love double E. Don't forget the double E. Be love double E dot one on the gram. Be love double E 10. Twitter. Be love colon. TikTok. Be love to tag on the Twitch. Yeah, just catch me everywhere.